Awe Master Gunners and welcome back to my YouTube channel, fellow Zam Jammers who are subscribed and notified. This video is going to be about where I work at the moment. You might have seen me making a few vlogs about this place where I work, talking about it a little bit, maybe you've heard about it or seen it on Instagram. I'm going to be talking about what it is and what we do in this video. So stay tuned. Please. What? Away. So, may I ask everybody who's watching this video right now, can you drop a like? Just do the liking thing. Drop a comment. Tell me how your day's going. I'd like to hear. Um, and if you've got any ideas for content for me. But otherwise, let me tell you about what is going to be going down in this video. Where I work at the moment. So this is... Duck Soup Productions. It is a photography and videography company. They also rent out sound systems, uh, lighting, and set up websites and all of that because it does a lot of weddings and it makes sense to incorporate those things in package deals. But mostly, and what they specialize in, is cinematography and, and photography. Now, I'm going to talk about two things about this company that I love. So, the media aspect and the people aspect. So I'll start with the media aspect. Now you know I'm a YouTuber and I've been making videos for three and a half years almost now. And that is something that I've been passionate about. I've done it in my spare time and that's shown me that it is one of the things I'm really passionate about and that I can do it with a lot less effort that, than it takes other things to do. Like for example, I studied computer science. Programming for me is not fun. <laughs> it's... Uh, it's it's I, problem solving is fun and when i get a solution to work it's it's awesome like when i solve a math problem that's really exciting and i would even go so far as to admit that i've done maths problems in my spare time but i've never really programmed in my spare time but i have shot videos edited videos and so this field is something i'm really interested in also create today we work with video creators and creators more general creators now instagrammers tiktokers youtubers and where media meets influence so with create today being on the standard that it is now and us reaching so many people working with so many people whose quality of content is just up here i figured you know i actually want to be able to talk from a point of authority in the media field uh, those are some of the reasons why i decided to come and work here also i felt god laying this on my heart also having heard about the people so the people over here Outside of learning as much as I am about recording uh, and editing, these people are, are quality people. They are, most of them are Christians and they also go to every nation. So going through a period of this, like where I'm fasting, they are also doing the fast. And there was a point this week when I actually wanted to just crack open a packet of Mario biscuits and, and start having a snack because I was just like, this is killing me. And I went and I asked around the office who wanted and then I realized they're all fasting. And I was like, you know what? If they're doing it, I can do it. So I did, and I've stayed strong until today, which is it's pretty awesome having people around you who are like-minded and have a similar vision. And also values, strong values. My boss, for example, Eugene, um, he's a, an INTJ personality type. Uh, he believes he's right a lot of the time, and he is, a, and he is right <laughs> a lot of the time. Um, I've had the opportunity to connect with him, and he challenges my mindset my perspectives which i really appreciate not a lot of people have the boldness to do that and i have a lot to learn from him he's like organization skills he's he's working with people how he gets things done especially how he gets things done i'm someone who gets things done and i see him getting things done and i'm like i've got a lot i can learn from you so that's really cool and there's things to learn from every single person over here you've seen 10 if you've been watching my vlogs uh, and he's the co-founder of create a he works here with me um, Christopher, who featured in that video about uh, the Bible plans. Um, then there's Rousseau, also awesome guy. Everyone has different things to offer and they're supportive uh, in their own way. And uh, I, I'm really grateful for the people who work here. But the work that I do specifically, let me talk about that. So, oh man, this company is very focused on making quality, quality videos and, and like photos. They, that's a big thing about them. So that's one thing that I've often overlooked, the quality of things. I would rather want to get something done and get it out as soon as possible than 
be super attentive to detail and that's one thing that I'm learning here. There cannot be any camera shakes, you can't bump the camera, they, you need to think about all these techniques when you're editing a video together. I, in my few weeks that I've been here, have been putting together ceremonies and the speeches of weddings. So basically we have three cameras that we set up when the ceremony of the wedding is going down on the couple, on the pastor, on the audience and making that video is all about getting every moment. You want to see the look on his face when she walks down the aisle. You want to see the audience stand up when she walks in. Uh, every single moment and memory you want to capture that and give a holistic perspective of the day. Um, and fortunately it's not just a documentary. It is a documentary but there's some opportunity for creativity right at the beginning and at the end when you put a, a little cinematic thing together. Um, that's where I'm starting and that's where I'm learning at the moment. The other guys on the team, Christopher and Ten, make the really cinematic short films which are amazing and I'll, I'll hopefully get there soon. Um, yeah, by the end of Feb I need to be doing at least four videos a week, so for two couples, a ceremony and the speeches afterwards. At the moment I have a goal and that is that. It's currently taken me two weeks to get four done, so I guess I need to double my pace. Uh, which is all right. I've been learning how, how the software works and all of that. Yeah, so that's pretty much what I do here at Duck Soup Productions. I am an intern at the moment, a probationary intern. I'll find out at the end of March if they like me and if they want to keep me and stay on. I really hope they do, obviously, because I absolutely love this place and have so much to, to learn from the people and a lot of skills of mine to develop and, and showcase. I believe I can make this place better and I have unique things to offer this place. And I ultimately want to be the pioneer in helping it grow. So we'll see how that goes. Um, Got to have goals. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much more about me and my work. I hope you found it interesting working in a media company, what that's like as an intern. Um, I make a lot of coffee for everyone, as you've seen in other videos, but I am the intern. It's uh, my job to, to be everyone's slave. In a way, it establishes a sense of service like and, and respect for other people, which I completely get. So, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. If you haven't yet, do drop a like, drop a comment, what kind of content you want to see coming up. I have gotten a request to make gaming-orientated content, so in the next week, you'll probably see that on my channel too. Anyway, right, guys, thank you again for watching, and cheers. Excuse that camera bump. Okay. Cheers for real now.